name's Peter McAvoy. I started Re-Energizer in 2008 in order to find an alternative fuel source, one that's renewable, one that we can produce locally, one that we can use locally uh, to help the local economy, help the local environment, and um, keep U.S. soldiers out of harm's way. I was uh, driving a veggie burning, grease car burning uh, Mercedes because I thought it's a pretty cool thing to uh, be able to reduce the carbon in the atmosphere, reduce global warming, and, and uh, use locally produced fuel. And in 2004, my brother became permanently disabled based on his service in, uh, from his service in the Iraq war. And already driving the Mercedes, I went with him in 2008 to a wounded warrior's winter weekend in Aspen, Colorado, where I had a conversation with one of the architects of the Iraq war, the, the same guy who was saying they're going to be parading in the streets when we show up and the uh, oil produced will pay for the war and we'll be heroes everywhere and well, we know how that played out. It wasn't so true. Um, I decided uh, I'm going to do whatever I can to increase America's renewable and locally produced alternative fuels. We go to about a in the area about 170 restaurants in central and western New England, upstate New York. We, we collect um, the oil from the restaurant sites, providing a container for the restaurants. Uh, bring it back in a great big truck you can hear starting up now. Uh, using air pressure, we push it off the truck and into this filtration system. Uh, air pressure and compressed air is, we find, the best way to move oils around. It's the least it has the least energy consumption. Raising the temperature helps the settling, but it's just, it's heat and settling. Time is our friend here. So that's what allows us to clean the oil up. Just gonna turn this pump off. <clears throat> so once it's, once we've filtered out the solid impurities, we also wanna make sure that the water separates and then we can sort of decant it really off the top. Um, after we have enough, we put it in tote tanks and containers on the truck and deliver it to a biodiesel processor. We're looking forward to the day that Northeast Biodiesel is up and running so that we can supply them with the oil needed to you know, have a real impact on, on a, the local environment, local economy right here. It's a fairly new industry and one of the people that had had sort of broken ground in this area was a guy named Tom Loya who's involved with Northeast Biodiesel. He's a co-op power member. He's on our board of advisors and has been a tremendous resource in terms of vetting ideas, what works, what doesn't. Uh, I think that he and I are in the same mindset in the sense that you can find a lot of equipment to recycle, reuse, repurpose, uh, that's good in and of itself, and it's also a really inexpensive way to outfit the process. So this happens to be an old propane tank, which we paid very little money, and it makes a great vessel, great pressure chamber for this. Uh, same with all the other equipment. It's not pretty, certainly not pretty, but it is uh, efficient, and it's a wonderful way to repurpose and reuse. We're, we're now building equipment as we go that is cost-effective and gets the job done. Uh, we're proud of what we're able to accomplish with very little resources um, and we'll continue to do it that way for the foreseeable future. The higher impact, the better ability to make an impact for the good on, on uh, the local area on society is through biodiesel. So we sell it in mass to someone else who turns it into biodiesel at which point, you don't have to tinker with machines. You use it as if as a direct replacement for either heating oil or for over-the-road diesel fuel. Pump it right into a tank without extra equipment, um, without changing the original manufacturer's equipment that you have for your heating system or, or uh, car or truck, so long as it's a diesel. I met Dave by putting a advertisement on Craigslist 
and that said, we're interested in hiring people who are concerned about making a difference. Uh, we can't pay you much money, but <laughs> grow with the company and we'll, uh, we'll uh, take care of each other and as things move along. The thing with Re-Energizer is it's new. Uh, it's frustrating that we can't get more people to sign up with us, uh, given what we know. The value that we add to uh, the process and making sure that we only displace fossil fuels. Uh, I would have thought that every restaurant in the area would sign up with us, but it's harder than we thought expected. Hey, Frisco. Hi, I'm Lynn Benander. I'm the manager of Co-op Power and Northeast Biodiesel. Northeast Biodiesel is a community biodiesel plant. And uh, we got started about 10 years ago when a group of people in this area, Western Massachusetts, decided that they were really interested in figuring out how to reduce our dependence on fossil fuels, how to become um, less of a contributor to global warming. So they did a lot of research looking at solar, wind, fuel cells, geothermal, all kinds of alternatives, renewable energies, and um, decided that building a biodiesel plant was actually the way that we here as a community in western Massachusetts could reduce our carbon footprint, get off of foss um, fossil fuels, and uh, make a contribution to our community economically and socially. So we um, started building this plant in 2005, we started the business planning and raising the money. It took quite a long time to get started in this community strategy. Uh, we've actually chosen at each juncture, we've made the choice for the long-term ownership strategy rather than uh, short-term uh, getting things up and running. We finished stage two, and stage three is our final stage. We bought the land, we built the building, we have bought the tanks, we bought the processor, and um, we're, we're getting ready for the final stage, which is hooking it all up and turning the spigot on so that we can start making biodiesel from recycled oil. Biodiesel that we can use in any oil heat system or any diesel engine, both on-road and off-road. So we're pretty excited about that. It's very important to us that over the next two, three years that we figure out a way to be really localizing the sourcing of raw material as well as the production, as well as the selling of the biodiesel at the end. In the beginning, we, we're, we're going to have a local production facility for sure with um, 15 very good manufacturing jobs here in Greenfield, Massachusetts. Uh, we're going to start off with just a little bit of recycled oil coming in and just some of the biodiesel that we make going out locally. But uh, little by little over the next two, three years, we want to develop our network of restaurants that bring in um, their recycled oil uh, to us through our partner Re-Energizer in Holyoke. And we want to develop our buying groups so that we can have biodiesel sold locally here uh, in, through home heating oil and uh, on and off-road vehicle uh, diesel sales. So it's a, it's a long-term process and we're in it for the long haul and we're very excited about our, our partnership with Re-Energizer that's working right now to sign up the restaurants to bring uh, recycled oil in so that we have a local product as much as possible to make the biodiesel from. These are the tanks that are going to receive the oil. So we have a partnership with Re-Energizer, which is a company in Holyoke that collects uh, oil from restaurants and they uh, dewater it and filter it and will bring it to us to process here into biodiesel. And they'll be bringing it and we'll be storing it here in these tanks. We've got two smart tanks um, that, that uh, will be receiving that oil. So we're asking our members and supporters to help us sign on the restaurants where they eat to uh, bring that oil there for us to use.